Good afternoon, Rudy Collin here with Tech Out, or rather, good morning it is. Um, today, Apple has launched their self-service repair website where you can order uh, genuine parts for the iPhone. Um, it's iPhone only right now, um, and it is iPhone 12 and up, including the iPhone SE third generation. Um, a lot of the parts for the third generation will work for the older ones, but I don't know if it'll let you order it because some parts do require your serial number or IMEI to be entered. Um, now, just to try this out, I don't need any parts like a screen or anything major for my iPhone um, SE or my 13 Pro Max, um, but I just wanted to see the ordering process and what it required um, and stuff like that just so I can kind of see the process. So I ordered a SIM card tray for my um, my red iPhone SE. I actually ordered a black SIM card tray for my red iPhone just to, I thought that would look kind of cool. Um, and it did not require an IMEI or serial number or any information about the device for that. Um, so I'm assuming it's probably only for like displays and like camera modules and stuff like that that's going to be tied to the actual iPhone. Um, now that being said, uh, so the way this works is you read the repair manual. Some of the items do require the repair manual ID to be entered for the ordering process so they can verify that you actually like, you know, maybe at least took a little bit of a look at the repair manual. Um, so if you go to uh, the repair manual, um, it, it has the repair manual for like, like I said, the 12, 13, and the SE. Um, so if you go to a repair manual here, this is on the actual Apple website. Um, you can see like the parts, the tools, the parts you can order for it, the part numbers. Um, so these are all the things you can get for the iPhone SE, uh, sorry, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can get the SIM tray, the security screws, uh, rubber gaskets, lower cowling, display adhesive, display, camera cowling, camera, bottom speaker, and a battery. Um, so those are all the things that you can order. These are all the like tools and parts and stuff like that that you would need. Um, they are up here. So it lists everything. So if you're going to like do to the display, um, it tells you all the tools that you need. Now the cool thing, we'll get to this in a minute, is all these tools you can purchase and keep for yourself or they have a kit that you can rent for $49 and it's a seven day rental. Um, <clears throat> so if you're a average Joe just trying to do this, you have some experience or you know what you're doing, and you can do this, but you don't want to spend money on all the tools like this, this, um, the heated display stuff and stuff like that to get all that kind of stuff off is about $200, $260, um, for that. So we're just going to go to the iPhone. We'll just say 13 pro max right now. Cause that's probably going to have the most expensive stuff, um, on it. But if you scroll down here, you can see the tools. So here is the uh, toolkit, which is the seven day rental, which basically comes with all this stuff you see down here. Um, but if you're doing more than one phone or you, you know, you plan on doing this uh, later on down the road, you can purchase each one of these individually um, to keep and own. Um, so you can buy the, the fixture for two, six, uh, 256 Now this will work on other iPhones. You just have to have the different size pockets and this, the pocket goes into this fixture right here. Um, and that is what heats up the display for removal. Obviously, there's other unofficial ways that you can remove the display without that but Apple is selling you the official Apple tools so you can do it by the book. Um, so the parts are not too bad price-wise. A display and screw kit is 276 after you return the old part, um, or you can get the uh, kit with the bundle, which includes the um, adhesive for 278.36, again, after that credit. Um, you can buy the adhesive by itself for $1.80 if you need to take the display off for something like maybe a camera replacement or a battery replacement. Um, you can buy the display adhesive for $1.80 to put the display back on. Um, we have, you know, the display cowling, uh, 50 cents, lower 50 cents, screws, 20 cents, um, not bad at all. Universal screw kit, $3.90. So very, very reasonably priced on there. Um, battery kit, $46.85 after um, the credit. So very, very reasonable on doing a battery replacement yourself. Again, technically you would need those tools and stuff like that to remove the display and put the battery in. Um, but there are other ways to heat the display up, obviously, if you don't want to do it that way. Or you can just rent the kit for $49 and you'll be out about $100 for a battery replacement, which is probably a little bit more expensive than Apple doing it themselves. But if you're not, you know, if you don't have easy access to an Apple store, or again, you have multiple devices to do, um, you can do those all in one go. Camera module 8765, if you buy the kit, it does come with the adhesive and two new uh, screws. 
Um, let's see, bottom speaker, 44, 45. So if you have to take the display off, it comes with the display adhesive if you buy the bundle, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, you can get SIM trays, they're $7.20 each. You can get them in any color. Taptic engine, uh, 41, 35 for this. Um, some of these things like the screen, let's see, like the screen do need to be paired. Uh, they do require the system configuration tool, but Apple will do this for you remotely uh, if you contact them by chat or phone after the repair. So very, very nice. Your face ID, touch ID, whatever um, will still work. Your true tone, all that kind of stuff will all still work. So that is very, very good to see that Apple is doing this. They've basically just made it so you can repair pretty much anything on your own iPhone except for like the logic board and stuff like that. But doing that anyway would require a lot more software you know, tools and stuff like that. So it's probably not something that the average person would be able to do at home anyway. Um, but very nice to see that this is now something that is uh, something we can do. Um, so this is the website. It's just selfservicerepairstore.com or selfservicerepair.com. It's run by a third party company. Um, authorized by Apple to sell genuine Apple parts and tools. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.